In this video, we're going to explore three mathematical concepts. We're going to look at number recognition, we're going to look at counting, and we're going to look at the beginnings of number formation. And all you really need to do this activity are some Lego bricks, some magnetic or foam numbers, and some Play-Doh. And it's a really fun activity that's very interactive and very practical to really just get your child thinking about numbers and recognising those numbers. So, James is going to be my beautiful assistant today, aren't you, James? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. So, all you're really doing is asking your child, first of all, to recognise numbers. So, I have got all the numbers um, from 1 to 9 mixed up in this bowl. And what I'm going to ask James to, to do is to pick up a number and tell me what it actually is. So, it's recognising that number and actually relating that symbol to the number. Okay. So, do you want to pick one out? Yeah. And choose. Oh, right, let's put it on the whiteboard. What number is that, James? Two. Two. So you can see immediately he has recognised the numbers and I know that he knows his numbers from one to nine. It's just that I want to start relating all those skills into it. Okay, so you have got the number two. Right, now I want you to make the number two for me. Could you, with Lego bricks, could you get two Lego bricks and make the number two? Right. Okay, join them together. Join them together. Okay, so here is the number two. Here is the number two. Can you check that it's not two? Yeah. That there are two there? Check yeah. for me. How could you check? One, two. Good, so now we've got the counting skills coming in. And now we're going to try and make the number two with Play Doh. Do you think we could do that? Yeah. Do you have to look at the shape? Now are you ready? And this is where I would start to get that idea. James hasn't started really writing uh, numbers yet. So this is the stage he's at. Um, he started writing his letters, but not numbers. So we're going to, first of all, we're going to trace the number two with our fingers, okay? Yeah. So can you get the number two? And I want you to just to go round. Like this. I always think a number two is like a little duck, okay? Here's his wee head, round the top, down, and a little tail. Can you do it? Okay, can you tell me round the top like his little head? Round the top like his little head. And what's that? Straight like a little tail. Perfect. Okay, right, can we do it in the air? You can do it with mummy. Yeah. Right, ready? One, two, three. Round like a little head and straight out with a little tail. One more time. Round like a little head, straight with a little tail. Lovely. And there are lots of other videos out there that I've done based on number formation as well, but we're just f focusing on uh, the Play-Doh today. So, now I'm going to give you some Play-Doh and I'm going to wonder if you could make me a letter or a number two. Do you think you could? Right, so roll it out into a big sausage. Can you do that? Right, roll it out. Can you roll it out into a big sausage? Roll, 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 roll. Keep going. So again, encouraging them, and this is this nice practical, these motor skills as well are being developed and starting to just get really thinking about the shapes of numbers and how to actually form them. So keep rolling. Let's get it into a nice big rolly snake. Right, now that you've got a nice big snaky Play-Doh, do you think that you could make a number two with this big snake? Yeah. Right, see if you could. Right, shape his little head round like a little duck. Okay. Okay, you can see that James is having a little bit of problem with this. So this is perfect. This is a really good moment for you to actually allow them to actually trace that number first. So I'm just going to get a whiteboard pen and I'm going to draw it for him nice and big on the whiteboard so he can use that as a little guidance and then take that away and then have a go and at doing it himself. Guidance? It means you've got a little line to work on. So if I'm going to draw you or write you a big number two, do you think you can now roll out your snake onto that one? Because yeah. yours was good, but we weren't getting enough of the head, I don't think. What do you think? Yeah. His head was a bit wonky, wasn't it? Right, let's see. So here's your snake and you're going to now go over that. Let me see you doing it in the air again. Round like a little, yep, slowly. Round like a little duck, down with a little tail. Okay, right, there we go. <clears throat> Let's see if you can make it now. 
you've got number two on the board to help you okay okay Have enough for a wee tail. Put them down a wee bit there, look. Have you got enough for a tail now? <laughs> yeah. There, put his head down a bit. Right, what do needs help to happen with that bit? Lovely, James. Good boy. Now, as you can see, he's now made a number two. Do you think this time, if I take the number two away, that you could try and do it yourself. Yeah. Right, so here's your snake to so remember what you've done. Do it with, go over it with your finger. Round like a little duck's head. And here's his little tail. Right, now I'm going to straighten it out. And I'm going to rub the two off. You think you could have a go? And where does that need to go, that line? It needs to come down a bit, doesn't it, like that? Yeah. Now can you put his tail up? Yeah. Good boy, that's lovely, good job. Right, leave that snake over there, right now. So you can see that um, it depends on your child's ability, but do give them a wee bit of help if they need it. Right, let's try another one, okay? So put the block blocks back. Right, let's please up, choose another number. Yeah. Okay, this is a harder one, isn't it? Right, put it on the board. What number is it? Yeah. Okay, right, can you make eight with your Lego bricks? One. Two, three, uh, on the same colour. It's up to you. Four, five, one, two, three, four. Lovely to see James self-correcting there. Are you sure there are eight there? Yeah. Okay, could you count it again for me yeah. just to double check? Put it down flat so you can see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good boy, excellent. So again, reinforcing that idea of double checking their counting to make sure that they're correct. So we've got... Yeah. Eight. Okay, now, <clears throat> do you think we can make a big number eight with our Play-Doh? So again, because I know he struggled before, I'm going to actually put the number on for him to trace. So let me put the number on for you to trace, first of all. First of all, okay. Okay. Right. Can you now have a go at making a number eight out of your Play-Doh? Yes! Okay, there we go. This is a really great opportunity as well to practice those motor skills um, and really allow children just to handle different yeah. materials. Oh dear, what number's that? Zero. Oh, that's not an eight. Will yeah. I draw you another one? But it's a good try. No, it, no, it's because it was a wee bit wonky. It was a bit wonky. Don't rule that up now because we need it to put it in a... Whoops, I forgot. We need to make another snake now, won't we? Yeah. Okay, right, let's make another snake now, okay? Will I draw it a bit bigger for you? Would that help? Yeah. Okay, let me draw it a little bit bigger. I won't be able to show you how Thank you. Hand. Now draw up my here we go. Draw? We can draw it with a pen later on. Right, okay, it's nice and big for you now. Yeah. Okay. Get the snake away from the girl. You want the thinner snake? Yeah. Or a fatter snake? Fatter snake. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Right, so start at the top. Start up here. <laughs> it's so fat. Right, okay. Mm hmm. Now, where are you going to go? And put this bit up. Which bit? This bit. Again, this is a nice opportunity for some problem solving. And then what are you going to do? You're yeah. going to break him in half? <laughs> yeah. Okay, there you go. <laughs> good job. That's a good eight. Well done. And then squish it together. You're going to squish it together to make sure it looks like an eight, yeah? Yeah. Pretend you drawn it. Okay, so tell me what have you got now? Eight. 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 Excellent. So just a really nice, practical, fun idea to really develop all those different skills 
and you don't really need much to do it. Music